JSON is a language that computers use to speak to each other, which is why it's one of the most important skills to understand in automation. So all JSON is, is JavaScript object notation. It's a way to store data and exchange data. We call it the English for computers. It's important because all the apps like make.com, Anytan, or even Zapier, they're all built on JSON. In the back end, everything is JSON. And the way that JSON works is that we have a key value pair. So the keys will always be quotes, a string, which is a name, it can be my name, Michele, number, which can be 42, Boolean, which is true or false, null, when there's no data coming through, object, which is JSON inside the JSON, and then array, which is a list of values. And the way it works is that we have key, which can be a name, value, which is Michele, the key, which is age, the value, which is 20, the student, which is key, and then the Boolean output, which is true or false. Now, these are three types of outputs that we get. One is a string, one is a number, and one is a Boolean. Then we have an array, which is a list of items. In this case, we have the key, which is skills, and the value is automation, AI, and Notion, because within the same key, you have different outputs. And finally, we have nested objects, which is JSON within JSON. So in this case, you have a bunch of keys, and the hierarchy works so that the person is the first item, so it's, this is one at the top, and then we have name below the person, and then we have context below the name, which consists of email and phone number. Now I've made a full video showing you everything that you need to know about data transformation and how to use JSON within your automations. Make sure to check out the first link down below.